going through social pilot, which is our social media scheduling system, um, we actually have an affiliation with them. A lot of our software companies either don't have programs like that, or um, if they do, it's just very, very limited. Social pilot pretty um, much runs the majority of what we do in our business. So if you are a client that wants to work with us, all this is integrated in what you're already paying for. We just use that to, to manage things, right? So starting out in your dashboard here, this is going to be your like main epicenter where you're seeing what's going on. We're seeing that there's, um, what did it say? Nine posts that are published today. Most of this is just like in a handful of pages, but they're going across all these different pages and things like that. And then we're going back into another day. Then it will show um, things that popped up, like an error message if something didn't go through. Um, and that happens if, let's say, um, like we were talking about earlier, if they do maintenance on social pilot and it's a complete, you know, revision of the software that might happen, doesn't happen too often. Usually they can do updates about having to reestablish things. It's mostly when the platforms themselves, like Facebook, Instagram, those are the two big ones. When they do a massive update, you may need to reattach something. So an error message will pop up that something didn't go through. And usually a little circle will come up, a little red circle. You click it, you log into that profile, whichever is the one that detached. And once you log in, you just hit accept and it reattaches. So the login information for anything you manage, you'll need, or you'll need to be an, an account to connect. I would show you how to do it, but you do it through here. This little thing that looks like a, like a chain or whatever, this is how you connect the accounts. You go to accounts, connect accounts, and I can um, add any one of these accounts to that, even a Tumblr. I think we had a Tumblr a while ago, but this is like what you see here. We were active on all of these. Um, Google business profile, that extends into search, right? But you can do posts on Google business profile. You can answer comments on here. There is a lot that this can do outside of just social media scheduling alone. Pages and individual people depending on the platform, um, like this one, it'll allow me to add in my personal LinkedIn or I could do the business profile or both. Mm -hmm. um, I think you can just view the information on a LinkedIn personal profile. I don't think you can schedule stuff to there. I think it's only the business pages, um, but it gives you a lot, a lot of flexibility. Instagram, same kind of thing. You get different types of account process. When you click on connect a page, it's going to pop up the website so that you can put in the login information and then it'll tell you to accept and then add it. And now you may not like me going back to that screen. Okay. All right. So when I go to manage accounts, let's say you set up a bunch of accounts. You're like, okay, I want to look at all these things and manage them, mm -hmm. which is good to know because I usually say, oh, the whatever Facebook page, I should also, I should always say the ID if I'm talking to somebody internally. Mm -hmm. it's, then they'll go in their system. They'll go right to what I need. There's no question about what it is, um, which leads me to this. You have questions and answers that you can find here. It's just like, um, like it's kind of like a library or their blog or something, but without having to scroll and look through a bunch of stuff of like, I can wait for it. Um, or I don't necessarily need the information right now, or you can email them and say, here's an idea I have to, for this software. Have you guys considered adding whatever though they take ideas and since I've used them for, I don't know, six months now, something like that, maybe more, they've added new features. Some of the stuff I've, I've shown you is was not there before. So here's some groups that we have in here. So you'll see the accounts or the amount of profiles, profiles and accounts. So this says 20 social media profiles, three social media profiles, three social media profiles, seven and four, right? Mm -hmm. If I want to add a group, which is usually a client's name, I'll mm -hmm. add their name. I'll add a little description if I want to, and then I'll pick whichever ones and boom, I put them in the, you know, the group 
whatever the case may be, whatever the biggest selling points of a platform like this is being able to get new and different analytics that you can from the platform and having the ease of being able to just go in there and do that. So I can go to analytics and I go to manage report and I can create a report for any company, including myself, and I can schedule it out. I can say, I want stuff from these accounts. I want to create a report and I want the report to be over the last three months, mm -hmm. right? I want to not save. I want to, I could download it. Mm -hmm. I could send it to someone as an email or I could schedule it people on these platforms too. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to do the, re the special report that you schedule out. Like if you were doing that for a client, right? I showed you as a demonstration. If you were doing that for a client, you'd want to set it up and have that automated because it just is easier. It makes sense, right? I'll just go on the platforms and I'll respond there. If I'm actively using the platform myself, it still doesn't take a lot of time, but this is like meant to be an all in one command center. I can do that and I can go from client to client to client in the inbox, go to Instagram, go from client to client to client. And let me tell you, the bigger we get and the bigger our clients get, this is important. Now, this is a big value seller too. A lot of companies just do Google business profile posts, mm -hmm. management and, and review responses, or they put out, you know, they put out things to elicit reviews. They're review based companies. That is a very important part of what we do, but it still just makes up one small part of this big picture of the stuff that we do. So this is actually one of my more favorite newer features that social pilot is doing is the inbox particularly with the google business profile because when somebody leaves a review which is valuable very valuable i can respond right in here very quickly almost like pretty much instant mm -hmm. and that's going to help my search recognition by not only having the review but responding it quickly and efficiently and then I go move, you know, work to done. And then there you go. And even tells me when they're active searching on Google maps right now of these green things, even tells me sometimes when they're active, which is interesting. See, she's not active, but they're active right now, which tracks because all three of these people own uh, businesses that require them to be on the go. Mm -hmm. She's at home. So she's probably not on Google maps looking at like who, what client am I meeting with today or whatever. Same thing with this with this client. We responded in there. They have, I think, five or six or seven other um, reviews, but it's not in that month, two month time frame, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't see anything here. All right. But again, anytime we can go to the platform and we can do all that. I can add team members here, which um, eventually will get you a little a little team credit um, credential thing. So you can log in as yourself. Um, content, they have libraries of information of stuff. If you're like, okay, the chatting is not enough and the email is not enough. And usually it is. I mean, most of the time, if I can't find something or, you know, I miss something up, it was, it's operator error, it's not them, mm -hmm. you know, usually. But if I wanna set up an appointment, they usually have a decent availability. You just schedule something, it automatically changes to your time zone. In your case, you're on my time zone, so it doesn't matter. But if you were in a different time zone, it would automatically link from mm -hmm. Calendly. I think it looks like they have Calendly or something. And then you just set up the appointment and you know set it up and make a little note about what it's about and schedule it. And it'll go right to your your company calendar. Okay. So it's um pretty straightforward. Let me see if there's anything else. And the settings that I could look at. I mean, this is all stuff for me. Receive notifications, both posting errors. I mean, everything's already optimized the way we want to. Is the app. All these companies are having mobile apps, and that's really the only way social pilots being left behind. There's a few other things I didn't get into, like how to schedule a post. Mm -hmm. Um we can go over that probably another time because I it's just good to kind of get a little run through of this um mm -hmm. but then I'll show you there they have an AI assistant now I have a separate AI assistant. those metrics and why is important those are key performance indicators okay 
So social pilot, though again, you want to be on your computer or your laptop for this. Your mm -hmm. phone is only to observe. That is yes. at least you get it done on the computer. You can always look at it on your phone on the go, make sure and, and check over it that way. Okay. All right. Um let's see here. Oh yeah, request new feature. That's where you go. So if you wanted to request um a uh, fully mobile, whatever you call it, experience, that would probably be the place to do it. All right, so I'm gonna cut off this report. <laughs>